four points clear at the top of the Premiership. Saracens turned attention to European masses and the visit of Ulster last year's beaten Heineken finalists with a number of their big names back on deck, including Luke Marshall, Jared Payne and John Afoa in the pack. It's tense and it's tight. Is it ever going to be any different? Referee. Roman Pratt, not afraid to give a penalty at the scrum, we all know that. That's pretty professional for Rowan Pinar, considering when he missed the first two, you wouldn't know it from his body language as ever, absolutely spot on. Here's Borthwick. Combined well with Hargreaves and now the rolling ball. Brits has it at the base of that ball. He kept it going. And Muller, the captain, looks anxious. He's required again to run around quickly. Five metres out now. First warning given by the referee to Saracens, but it's got moving again and isn't stopping. Wigglesworth actually wants to use it, but he'd be well advised to let this go. Saracens are over the line and they're claiming the first try of this quarter-final. No, no, he was passing the, the ball. The key question, right as you say, yeah, Ian, any reason why it can't just be given? The scrum, just to make sure about your bending, keep it when you got it, all right? And we're not seeing a reason why it can't be given. Sure you, right? Eric Gozan will relay the news that it's a try. But it's Brits. Uh, two on two, hooker on hooker, best tuck in Brits. And Farrell's kick, oh look at that. Owen Farrell, simply now, one of the best in the world. In goes Gill. Neil de Kock. Back to Farrell. And he just says to Ulster, now come from deep. Do it from there if you can. Couldn't do it in our half, so you're not going to really do it from just outside your own 22. And Alex Good is starting to counter here. I haven't really seen that in the game to date. Good coming forward in that style, but Saracen's showing that they feel it's time now to go and win it. Ashton going on the outside. Chris Ashton is about to win it. The semi-final beckons. But Ulster at least trying to give their supporters something to cheer about, or half cheer. Right at the end of this match, there goes Olding showing his skill, his stepping skill. He did that to Treviso. There's Pienaar and Tui. Just as we were talking about the spirit of Toman Park, it has not deserted this Ulster side, not one bit. Holding once more, gets it out to Henderson, thinks about the pass, Henderson goes through! It will be Twickenham again for the semi-final. As Saracens go to that stage of the competition for only the second time in their history. As everyone knows, we pride ourselves on our defence and our physicality. And against a side like Ulster, they break you down like to Nick Williams. Tommy Bowen, came on out of nowhere. I think we really had to step up and absolutely chuffed to be in a Heineken semi. I think the first 40 minutes, we really uh, we struggled to get any ball. You know, they were brilliant at the breakdown, um, which is an area we pride ourselves on. It. They beat us up there and, you know, ultimately, that was the game. Uh, they put a lot of pressure on us, played a great pressure game. And, and Owen Farrell, we knew he wasn't going to miss many kicks today, and, and that proved to be the case.